promise and thy gift in the particular area of anointing and calling upon thy life will continue to make a place for you in this life, saith the Lord. Thy gift maketh a room for thee, saith the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see how God just flows when we prepare ourselves for him? Oh, I like that. Heck, I love it. It tastes so good to allow that spring of living water to flow up. Praise God. Really are. And just as the prophet, see, you just got to call us. You got to spend a few cents. Some people won't, you know, they won't, you, you can't have, you've got to do some things. There is no such thing as something for nothing. Into existence things that are not. Yea, it brings into his existence things that should be. Oh, I love to prophesy. I love to speak the creative word. It just tastes so good. Hallelujah. I was in a, a car wreck, and my neck is real. I was a year in therapy with it, and now it is off. Thank you, Jesus. It's a gift. Right there. Thank you, Lord. There's the healing. Praise God saith the Lord, you will see the glory of God in thy life. Now that was a prophecy. Have authority to operate in that body, in that mind, in the name of Jesus. Come out! There's, see, it just broke off of you, felt it break off of you then. Now Holy Spirit. And when the minstrel started praying, the Spirit of God got stirred up in Elijah. And he started prophesying. Moses said, when there were some people outside the camp were prophesying, Moses said, I wish all of God's people were prophets. And that they too would prophesy. Hello? Taken up by a whirlwind up in the sky. Hello? You know, only him and Enoch, only two didn't die and went to heaven. Hello? I mean, Jesus died. But at him and Enoch and Elijah. And Jesus said, the spirit of Elijah has already come. Hello? Hello?